All right, so if you want to be able to get the call transcript from a finished phone call in high level and then do whatever you want with it, like in this case, we're just feeding it to ChatGPT so we can get a summary and then putting that in the notes. I'm going to explain in this video how you can do that. Um, the short answer is I created a free app. I'll link it below where you can install and um, it'll give you this trigger and you can basically get the call transcript when it's done. But then I'll explain how I did it um, and why it's really kind of fucking hard to do. So this right here is a custom trigger, okay? And this fires whenever a call is completed where transcripts are enabled. And let me just show you. You have to go to settings, phone numbers, and then advanced settings, and then voice calls. And make sure to enable call transcription. This transcribes your phone calls. So if we come back to my test user, we can see it shows this transcript, right? I'm sure you're aware of this. But basically, we can get this transcript back, and then we can actually use that to feed it to ChatGPT. And the problem is, okay, so let's come back here, and let's just mess around with this. So if we do, the only way to know when a call is completed in workflows is call status, okay? So what we could use is call status, and if we add a filter, we could do call direction, whatever. We'll just ignore that. Oh, wait. I need to add it. So we'll just add it with no um, extra stuff. But then if we want to use any of these custom fields, we add a custom field and we choose phone call, right? But all it gives us, so I mean, it gives us a shit ton of stuff, right? But you'll notice there's no transcript. The main reason for that, I believe, is that the transcript isn't actually ready as soon as the call completes, if that makes sense. So whenever a call is completed, it'll just see she'll just it'll just show the recording in the in the conversation and then it takes like depending on the length of the call it takes like five or ten seconds for that transcript to actually show up so what you could do is you could build a custom app through high level which would allow you to basically make a fetch request to get that transcript so i'm going to show you this so if we go to the api and we go get um get transcription by message id so every phone call, every message has its own unique ID. And what you could do is you can make a get request to this URL. So conversations, locations, the location ID, then the message ID. And what that gives you is a transcript just like this. And so it's actually, this is kind of weird because the transcript that we get is much better than this. Um, and I'll show you a sample. But this is kind of what it looks like. And... Basically, what you could do is use this fetch request right here, this sample, to get the call transcript. But the issue with that is it's really weird, but you can't actually get the call ID. So the message ID, there's no way to get it. So what I did when I was testing this out is I would just send myself an SMS. And then normally what you can do is choose message and then just change this out and this will actually give you the message ID message ID so there and then what we could also do is we could try this so call phone call ID and we'll label this just so we know phone call ID just so we know this because these values are going to be blank and then another thing we could try, um, there's actually a few things we could try, but I'm fairly certain none of them are work going to work because I've tested them. So we could do message ID. This is sometimes how it's displayed in the database. And then it's almost never displayed like this. Message ID. Message ID. And so this, these are values that you can actually use, but you should be able to pull them out. So you can do this with a lot of different things. Um, and sometimes there's a value there that they don't show you. So we'll just remember this is no space. And then this has an underscore. Okay. And so what I can do is I can test this out basically. Actually, we want that call status here. We'll test this. And then we'll also test um, contact. Uh, wait. Okay, so I just remembered there's no built-in way to trigger the workflow when someone sends an outbound message. 
Um, that's another app I'm thinking about building. But let's just test it out with a phone call right now and see how it works. So we'll go here. I'll call myself. So it's on mute now. So it's going to record this conversation, me talking right now. And then when I hang up, it should send that text message. Okay. So it's actually going to wait. Or no, it should run immediately when that transcript comes out. So all these values are empty. We actually have no way of grabbing the, the message ID. So we can't get the call recording. One thing you might be able to do is get the contact, get the most recent call, but that's not really a reliable way to do it because, I mean, you don't know if that if that webhook is delayed a little bit or if there's been multiple calls or it's just not kind of a reliable way to do it. So this is actually the problem. And you can see it's firing twice because that transcript is ready and so it generated a summary. <laughs> the summary is I was testing it. So... It also lets us see the account and contact talk time. And I'll show you what the transcript looks like that we're feeding to ChatGPT. But here's how it works. So actually, okay, so I just pushed this transcript into this note. So we should be able to see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to run that action again. Okay, so we just fetched that transcript. And then when we come back to our contact here we should see that new note in here actually I just realized um, it's right here so this is what it looks like basically account and then contact speaking and then account and this is optimized for ChatGPT. the reason I built this app to use the built-in transcripts is first of all it doesn't cost me anything to run this so I can provide the app for free but also it gives a really accurate breakdown of who's talking at what time because with the built-in transcripts you can't exactly do that um, or using the Twilio like call recording URL it just listens to that and tries to tell the speakers apart by the sound of their voice which is very unreliable and so with this we just break it down by which side of the phone call they're on and this is much more reliable um, so here's how we do this basically um, Let's go transcript location. And which one is it? Okay, so basically what we have to do is we have to create a custom app. So you go to marketplace.gohighlevel.com and you create an app. I mean, this is not gonna be a comprehensive tutorial of how to do this because it's fairly complex and time consuming, but I'll just break down in essence how it actually works. So what we have is a trigger here. And if we view this trigger, this is what it looks like. So this is the payload that we're going to be sending back. And then this is what you're able to use in the conversation. And so now what happens is whenever someone or whenever you create a trigger. So when I go here and let's just go back to this workflow. Whenever you update or add a trigger, it actually sends a webhook over to my endpoint, which has to store that in a database for future reference, which is kind of wild if, if you think about it. But here's the endpoint. So we have um, our, where is it? Um, message helpers. Okay, so this is the endpoint. So basically what happens is we get that trigger data here. And if you delete the trigger, we remove it from the database. But if you, um, if you update or add a trigger, we add that to the database and we can store those triggers for future reference. And then, um, oh, actually first we have to make sure we actually have a location ID for that, but then we insert that trigger to store for future reference. And here's what it looks like in the database. So you can see these are all of the triggers that are set up and you can actually see the filters right here um, and the location IDs. And most importantly, this is the URL that we have to hit in order for that to start the workflow. So we have to keep track of this URL and then whenever we wanna fire an event, then we fire it off to this um, trigger URL. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a filter here. So I'm gonna say it's at least 
30 to at least 30 seconds basically and I'll hit save trigger and as soon as I hit save here what we'll see is that event show up here so we can see transcript um, complete that's the trigger and then we can see it was updated and so now it's gonna go into the database and it's gonna update this trigger for us so that's the beginning and then what happens is we receive payloads whenever a call is completed and so that comes from the high-level app and whatever a call is completed that comes to this endpoint where we make sure that the type is a call transcript it's an inbound message or an outbound message and the type is a call and then what we do is we run this function and so this function first of all we make sure that there are there's at least one active trigger because if there's not there's no point in running this then we get our access token we check to make sure that we'll have a transcript so basically we go to that URL that we were talking about earlier transcription and we check and it'll say it'll tell us if there's no transcript for this call if transcripts are disabled when this call was made but if transcripts are enabled then it won't say that and what we can do is start our background task and this is our background task and the way it works is we have a maximum attempts and a max and a delay seconds and so every time we try to get that transcript if it's not available at the time then we have to wait you know in this case like 20 seconds to try again to get that transcript and so we get the access token again we get the tr call transcript we just basically try over and over again to get the transcript and then once that's done we save it to the database if save is enabled so this is only the premium apps um, and then the premium well it's an analytics app that's what I'm working on and then basically we just check if there's active triggers we get that calls duration so you can use it in the workflow if you want we format the transcript by breaking down all the speakers and everything and then uh, oh yeah this calculates the total duration of each speaker and then finally we run each trigger so for every trigger that we found in your account basically we just resume or we start that workflow by making this request and that's really all there is to it it is quite complex not gonna lie um, it took me about eight hours to set this whole thing up and I already had a lot of the installations stuff ready and the token stores and all that stuff was done so yeah I mean it's no no light task I would just install the app if I were you it's free um, I might make it paid in the future but if you already have it installed it should still be free so anyways um, thanks for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more high-level pro tips I'm out